Hey YouTube, it's Grace and welcome to episode 7 of my series where we're taking every single painting from Minecraft and making them in real life. This week I decided to do another one by one painting. I did the Alvin painting. <laughs> and before we jump in, I want to remind you about my Etsy where I have these tutorial guide type things if you want to learn how to make these paintings for yourself. This is my Etsy, not Grace Live. I will also have it linked in the description. And also on my Instagram, I have pictures of all the finished paintings if you want to look at them. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, today I'm doing the Albin painting, which is a 16 by 16. And I'll be doing it on this 12 by 12 inch canvas. So the first step is figuring out the size of each pixel. So I'm taking 12 inches divided by 16 pixels and getting 0.75. So each pixel is going to be three quarters of an inch. And now that I've marked out all the lines, I'm going to connect them with a ruler. For a primer, I'm still just using this, which somehow works better than the old primer that I actually had. For the border, it looks lighter on camera, but it's actually kind of a dark brown, so I'll just be using this. It is now the next day and this is all dry, so I'm going to be starting on the actual design now. And I think I'm going to be starting with these dark green colors. I just finished painting the first coat of paint for the first two colors and this is how it's turning out. I used a really dark green and a slightly lighter green and I made them a little bit lighter than the reference just because I've used these paints before and I know that the more I layer them on top of each other, the darker they'll get. And just a refresher in case this is like the first video of mine that you're seeing, the way I figure out where each pixel goes and like what color they are is I look at the reference, I start in the corner, count over and down and then like mark out little dots and then just fill them in. So for example, if I was going to paint these bright red squares, since I've already filled in this green, I can use it sort of like a reference point. So if I start here, one, two, three, four, five, then I know that these three are the red ones. So I go over to the same spot, one, two, three, four, five, and bam, fill them in. Okay, so I didn't film everything, but I just realized I made kind of a mistake and I made a bunch of things like one block too high. So I had to patch a few things up, but I think it's fixed. I feel like I'm not talking a lot about what I'm doing, but I'm basically just mixing a whole bunch of different colors of green, varying from dark green to more cooler greens to more like brownish greens, and then just kind of filling them in. Cause they're placed pretty sporadically throughout the painting. So I'm just trying to focus really hard on making sure they're in the right spot. I have run into a slight issue in which this lightest green yellow color is almost like a neon. And I honestly don't know how to make neon colors like I have never had to do that before so I am just doing my best here's my progress so far keep in mind this is still the first coat so very much a rough draft but all I need to do now for the first coat is add all the yellows in the sky now if you've seen any of my painting videos before you'll know that I always start very simple and then add a whole bunch more details later on so I'm just gonna pick like three different colors of yellow here like a darker a medium and a lighter to just roughly block out exactly where everything's gonna go so starting with the darker I just mix this kind of dark yellow orangish mustard color here is the darker yellow done here is the more medium yellow almost done with the first coat and here is the first coat done as i said a bit ago this is a very very rough draft it'll look so much better when i'm done but before i do anything else to this i need to let it dry and i have a pretty big to-do list for the rest of the day so i will be back probably tomorrow and see if we can get the second coat done. All right, I am back and ready to do the second coat. If you've seen any of my other painting videos, you'll just know that this means cleaning up the lines and making the paint more opaque because it is very see-through right now, but I'll be using pretty much the same colors, so it's pretty simple. Thank you. 
Here is how it looks with the second coat done and dry. I'm just comparing it with the reference right now and the last thing I need to do is just add some more details and kind of do the thing where I mix similar colors to pixelate things out a bit more. Like here on the reference, I noticed that this dark orange pixel is a little bit darker and here I don't have it yet. So I'm just going to be adding that in. I'm also noticing some darker golden colors in like the sky part of this painting. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those in. I noticed that this color here is just a little bit too cool, so I'm changing it up a bit. I'm not sure how well you can see, but I just mixed it a little bit warmer. And after adjusting a few more of the detail colors, this is how it's looking. Here is how the painting turned out, completely dry and in much better lighting. This was another painting design that I had never done before this, so I was happy to cross it off my list, and I think it turned out pretty good. Though I didn't expect it to be quite as tedious as it ended up being, just because it was a one by one, so I thought it'd be easier, but there were a lot of different colors in the sky. <laughs> but that pretty much concludes this video. I'm really happy with where this series is going. I'm having a lot of fun making it, and I hope that you guys are enjoying watching it too. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!